Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to check your computer specs in Windows 10. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to check your computer specs in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu just by left-clicking on the Start button one time. And now you want to left click on the little gear icon on the left side where if you hover over it it says settings. You just want to left click on that one time. Give it a second to open up the settings window here. Now you want to go ahead and left click on system. And now you want to go down the left side to get to about. So left click on about. And then on the right side once it's done loading it should give you the device specifications. So pretty straightforward here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So pretty straightforward here, we're going to scroll down a little bit, device specifications, we give you the device name, how much RAM is installed, the processor type. So pretty much the most important information you're probably going to need. Now if you want a more detailed analysis of your computer specs, you can go into system information. So if we close out of here, open up the start menu, type in system information. Best match to go back with system information, left click on that one time. Now into system information here, you want to go ahead and just wait for it to load up. System summary should be the default launch or loading page and that is pretty much all you need to go into as everything will come up on the right side here. So you get the OS name, manufacturer, so a whole bunch of good information to work with over here. So pretty straightforward. I wanted to give you guys an alternative way to get in here. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.